You know what I'm saying? But everybody ain't motherfucking great. And this nigga Jay Z is great. And that 444 album is motherfucking great. And if you don't listen to it, you're doing yourself a disservice. But especially to the black man, if you don't get that, you need that like you need the Bible and the Quran. Mm. I mean, I mean, I mean, if you got a problem with it, you got to come see me. Take that, mm. take that, take that. Jay Z 444 album. Take a look at this footage inside one of Diddy's parties where feds now allege that multiple legal activities including trafficking potentially with underage girls took place. Diddy as you know is currently sitting in prison. A lot of people around him are about to be there soon as well. There's Kim Kardashian and Kanye West as well as multiple other Kardashians at one of Diddy's parties that are in his Beverly Hills mansion in this footage caught there a lot of people by the way caught in that video as well kim kardashian's lawyer by the way is now acting super defensive he says that she hit him with a cease and desist after i post a video where someone suggested that she might be under fbi investigation for blackmail drugging men and possibly being involved in the infamous diddy tapes their threats and intimidation are pointless nothing can stop what's about to unfold let me be clear if i suddenly go silent i'm not suicidal i've now become a target of balenciaga's most powerful partner and he put a picture there of the cease and desist letter as well as showing who the lawyer is. You can see her right there. Her name is Christina Davis. She's currently working overtime to try to stop people from talking about this. That's not a good look. Here's one of the posts, by the way, that people are getting censored for talking about. This guy goes into detail about why he believes that they are about to get caught up in this. All of these celebrities are terrified that they're about to be the next ones to be put in prison. Take a look here. You can see more footage that shows Kim and Kanye at the party party which by the way is not just as innocent as it may look in some of these videos take a look at this and i mentioned it to the audience all those bedrooms connect to this balcony that yes. leads you to the backyard right yes. with picture frame windows no i told the audience that uh this home has been recently remodeled and all of the bedrooms on the bottom row there are connected out to the backyard what do you think they do in those bedrooms i'll give you a couple guesses it's pretty obvious considering the charges that are currently levied against eddie the charges that will likely send him to prison for the rest of his life or at least for a very long time these are very serious charges we are talking about someone who may be a billionaire but still he is not above the law at least he isn't anymore he has been for a long time and all of these people who think they are above the law who thought they could get away with it are about to potentially see the full force of the law used against them and that's why they're sending these cease and desist letters that's why they're terrified they can't control you they can't they, they, they try to suppress you but that's how they try to categorize they you. can't control me you get what i'm saying they can control Shaq. they can control charles barkley they can control lebron james they can control jay-z and beyonce no, not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. Not you. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mama ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. Increase Michael too. Jordan. What about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God loved me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, right, had to write net worth 400 million. Jesus is king. God loved me. That's more important than thinking of life. That's the thing. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat meals, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these names. None of these people. I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. Okay, fun fact a lot of people don't know. That cheesecake we went and got was from Beyonce. She was upstairs the whole time. Uh, what we was talking about again? Hold on. Uh, yeah, that's a fun fact people don't know. People like, y'all walked and got a cheesecake. It was for Beyonce. I'll do it again. But uh, 
Yeah, because at first he was like, I want some cheesecake. But we took all night to do the process, right? So when we got back, it was like four or five in the morning. And uh, me and Dylan got back first. Let me tell you how green these niggas is. So I'm the type of nigga. I listen to everything you say as if it's a contract. So if you say, walk to the store, or walk to get me some cheesecake, I'll walk to get you some cheesecake. But I'm not walking back. And that's just what me and Dylan did. And they like, why y'all, y'all, you know, they they hot. Like, y'all, you, y'all cheating. And we like, he told us to walk. He didn't tell us to walk back. So we already in the hotel like three hours before they got there when they said they was coming. We went and met him in front of the building. And you know, the first thing that nigga said out of his mouth, I nigga said, he said, uh, he said, oh, uh, we got a cheesecake. He was like, oh, I want that shit. Take that shit upstairs for Beyonce. Then he said, uh, they was like, yeah, man, we want to tell you uh, Fred and Dylan, they ain't walk back. You know, trying to be on some snitching shit. He was like, I ain't tell you niggas to walk back. <laughs> I ain't tell you niggas to walk back. Y'all walk back. Like, yeah, I'm like. According to none other than Jaguar Wright, Jay's kept Beyonce hooked on some substances for years, all in the name of keeping her compliant. Jay-Z. Why, oh, why, why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce. Jaguar also went on to urge Beyonce's fans to take a page out of Britney Spears' fandom playbook and rally behind a free Beyonce movement because Jay-Z's got Beyonce locked down like she's a prisoner. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney, y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce is the She is a prisoner in a guilty cage. Think it's a conspiracy against me you know because um in the absence of the truth bullshit will prevail so as long as nobody out there spitting real you know you can come up with anything and it'll sell you know what I'm saying but once you put the truth out there it's like people have something to compare everything else to so you know you got a lot of people who are not really happy about the fact that you know my album is about to drop you know they're not really happy about you know lord give me a sign and you know, we in here and you know, things of that nature, but you know what, F them. If you want to rap or, or sing or whatever, don't become a part of the game. You know what, listen to a song I called The Industry. And that, that pretty much explains, you know, saying what the shit is about, the industry. Man, it's not the same, the industry, it's not a game. The industry, real dying to get in the industry just to find they don't fit in the industry ain't what it used to be the industry's trying to control the way you MC. they want you to dress like this and talk like that but i'm going dress like this and talk with the guy the industry got y'all word meaning nothing the industry fuck what you heard because he's bluffing the industry money hate but i dare you to try to take a thing off my plate the industry like wait but in the streets we like get them 17 up in that thing catch them sleeping and hit them my pop whoever's with them the coroner's coming to get them industry what happened was, you know, like I said, I had the crazy track record, Def Jam, everything was good. You know, I go to do the sixth album, and, you know, Jay -Z somebody became else president. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when he first got the job, he hit me with the call, like, yo, dog, it makes us run in the building, like, yo, you good? Mm -hmm. Finish the album, shoot the video. So what happened? Mm -hmm. Let's go on vacation and... You know, uh, we don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you listen to a whole album, mm -hmm. pick a single, shoot a video, then don't know? 
Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, I see what's really good. You're trying to eliminate the competition. Mm-hmm. You know, because at first you retire, mm-hmm. you know, you know, then get me off the label. Now you're back rapping again. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, you- what DMX said about Jay-Z trying to eliminate him as competition does make a lot of sense. I'm sure many of you remember the epic rap battle between DMX and Jay-Z way before DMX signed to Def Jam. A lot of people allegedly say that it was a close tie between the both of them during this rap battle, but most people did say that DMX literally annihilated Jay-Z. So while DMX was saying that Jay-Z was just basically trying to eliminate him as competition, it does make a lot of sense because Jay-Z knew how lyrical DMX actually was. Now it was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even gonna even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. Okay. Thank you. Cause you listen, seven years ago I'd have been like, yo, did you hire somebody to kill Pac? But no, you do it like a journalist. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nonsense. Which we never believed, by the way. Yeah, thank you. As I said, more will come out. I stand by my statement that gangster rap was uh, intentionally encouraged, and then they found some people that were just straight up actors mm. to play this role of a gangster. And one of those people is obviously Tupac. So let's just watch this footage. You may forget this. Tupac was an actor, and I'm pretty sure he was not a heterosexual actor either on the basis of this clip. Take a listen. I'm most like my mom because I'm arrogant. Totally arrogant. I agree. I have to say it. Like, at work, I, I can't hold a job. I, I just quit my job today, actually, because I wanted to come and do this. And they wouldn't let me. And I felt like it was important, and it was more important than serving pizza. And we had enough people, so I felt like since I'm an actor, they should understand. They should have let me do it, but they didn't. And then I had a cold, so they were making me work in a freezer. And I'm, I'm really not one to be disrespected, and I felt like that was disrespectful because I asked to go, you know. So I quit, and he told me I couldn't quit. And that even made me hyper. I'm arrogant. So when he told me I couldn't quit and we had all these customers, I chose that time to jump on a soapbox, grab my leather jacket, light a cigarette in front of him, smoke, and leave in the middle of a rush. So that was natural. That's arrogance at the top. That's what I think I'm most like my mother. And she likes it. She'll see it in me and know it. And we clash a lot because I'm arrogant, she's arrogant. And, and you should see us when we get in our little attitude moves. I'm just saying it's a lot of hand movements for an eventual thug life gangster, okay? And like I said, he was in school for performing arts. Yeah, they were looking for people. That, that's him being cast. And it's very obvious to me that gangster rap was some sort of an operation and remains today. All the, the trap music, all the people that are getting signed, I don't say this with any ill will in my heart. I'm just not going to be convinced that, like, you know, Sexy Red is the number one talent that Black America can offer, that she gets a record deal, and that they couldn't find someone else that was producing music of a higher caliber. Again, not a shot at her, not a shot at you, Um, Ice Cube, just calling it like I see it because it is very obvious. Do you think Puffy was involved in the shooting? I believe so. I do believe so. I have proof, things that I could say that will back up my claim. It's between me and him, and only he knows. So every time he say it didn't happen, or that's the only thing that makes this become an issue to everybody. Fuck how rich you got on the block. I'm your big brother. But Shmilf, you told me before that she was at a party before that they attended, and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. Okay, uh, this is Boxer. His name Twan. He's from our neighborhood. He he was married to uh, Tanisha Arnold. So the bra played Pam on uh, Martin Lawrence. We went to the party with her. I mean, it was a matter of fact. It was a set it off party. Jada Pickett, Vivica Fox, all of them was there. You know what I'm saying? It was just uh, seemed like Puff. And Tupac was like a couple, it seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? The vibes ain't there. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. It's like Biblical Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with a big old booty and shit. Nobody was gay in the What the fuck is going on here? 
It's just a lot of a lot of weird shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? LA. Shit. It ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what Tupac, I guess he wanted to get up out of the Illuminati or something. But I, I seen it. Really weird. A, matter of fact, MC Light pulled off with Tanisha Arnold. You know what I'm saying? In her brand new 560. Black one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that shit weird, dude. Yeah, that's some weird ass shit going on, you know? Yeah. And what was Tupac doing at the party, yo? Him and Puff was there together. It was there, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't know how they fucking fell out or nothing like that. They was road dogs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even got pictures of them. He got on that uh uh that blue sweater, the turtleneck. Him and him hugged up like this with the black hat. Have you ever seen that picture? Nah, I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure I came across it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That picture there, that they was at that party that day. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of weird shit, that whole fucking yeah, that shit weird, dude. Yeah, bunch of, uh, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not no gay bastard or nothing. I mean, none of that shit, but that shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that whole party was weird old out. Yeah, and it was Jaden Pickett. But. You saying that, you saying the whole party was weird. What did you see at the party that made it weird? I mean, I'm confused. Everything I you just said? It was the Illuminati. It's just weird. I know I wouldn't want to be part of no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm from the old school, dude, and uh, that shit wasn't really tolerated with my generation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hate crime, yes, but it's more tolerated these days and nothing like that. It's more, you know what I'm saying, more open now. You know what I'm saying? But back then it was kind of fishy. You know what I'm saying? Still kind of fishy. You know, but it's more you know, out there now. The music industry, or Hollywood, Holly Weird, has been corrupt for a long damn time. These people were used as pawns to throw an entire culture under the bus while they padded their own pockets, culminating with the potential takedown of one of the biggest perpetrators within the music industry. Will Jay-Z be next? Only time will tell, but I think that that time is shortened, understanding that they found the Diddy tapes. Keep locked on the channel if you're enjoying the content, and I will see you soon. Until next time, YouTube.